Some vehicles come with independent wheel suspension and this is how independent wheel suspension looks like. The pivot point is this big bolt there and the pivot there and when the wheel goes into a pothole it goes down so it's this whole horizontal piece of metal tilts like so. What's good about independent wheel suspension is the four wheels can do four independent uh, things or potholes and the ride is a lot comfortable, a lot more comfortable than with an axle that's like this. This vehicle is on its side. I don't want to turn the camera with it but uh, work with me on this one. Here is the wheel up in the air and here is the axle going through. You can see it starts here and an axle going all the way down there. Here it says axle on it with a spelling error in it. Very cute. Whatever. We'll just leave it at the dealership as is. And you can see that this axle has been made out of this one eighth uh, thick steel painted. It's got a round rod in it but this is not rotating. It's not doing anything there. It's just a brace. And uh, pivot point is here and when the wheel goes up and down it's pivoting there but with it the whole axle is pivoting all the way so so one side moves the other and this is not an independent wheel suspension this is a this is a full axle and uh, this one is less comfortable but typically is stronger than the independent wheel suspension not stronger when it's made out of this one eighth of an inch thick uh, or thin uh, carbon steel, but it in a in a four by four and uh, and in big trucks, this type of axle is stronger than the independent wheel suspension because all the strength in the independent wheel suspension is basically in the pivot point and and in the this, this piece is called the swing arm there. So, that's about that.